Hey guys, today I'm doing another one of my end of the week vlogs, or as I'm now calling them, weekly roundups, because I round up the week of stuff. So, as per usual, I'm going to start with my games, um, Metro Last Light Redux. Um, yeah, I played that, basically. Um, I, I got it uh, just on Steam, because they brought out the new version, which is basically Metro Last Light with all the nice new engine stuff, and a bunch of new stuff. I never played the original Net Metro Last Light, so there's just a new engine and new stuff, maybe. Anyway, there are videos coming up on it, because I played it for the channel, and it was wonderful. And I'll hopefully be doing a Let's Play to some extent. It'll probably be like most of mine, where I just do videos until people are like, yeah, I'm bored now. And that's always good, because then I don't have to keep playing the game for ages. I'm not much of a committing to a game sort of person. Um, and other than KSP, I only really played Faster Than Light. Um, which had a pretty big update like quite a while ago, and I haven't really played it much since then So I got this awesome new gun, and it just decimates everything, so I was very happy about that um, In terms of films and TV type things, um, I watched Spider-Man 2 again um, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which people don't seem to like, but I freaking love it It's such a good film, and the actor is just I, one of my favorite actors right now I think it's just... Um, a pretty, uh, I think it's, a, I think it's an awesome film, and the ending was just mind blowing. Um, and in terms of other stuff, uh, I've been watching BoJack Horseman, or have started watching it. BoJack Horseman is um, a series that was created just for Netflix. Um, it's the weirdest show ever. Would be a pretty good description. Um, it's about a horse who lives in this world where people and animals kind of live together, and it's very weird comedy. I employ you to look it up if you like really weird comedy, and if you're like, oh, I like a bit of weird comedy, and you like Family Guy, you won't like this. This is just stuff I find funny, and I'm the weirdest person in the world. Um, yeah, so just check it out, and, you know, be aware that it's pretty weird, pretty full-on, and there's a horse who's a person, so, and there's people in the world, so there's a horse having sex with a woman. It's not, like, graphic, but it's, you know, technically bestiality, I guess. But it's just, it's weirdly funny and probably depressing if you're anything like me, because this guy's probably what I'm gonna be like if I were a horse. Um, anyway, on to the news. Uh, in terms of games, Space Base DF9 has just kind of been left. Uh, Space Base DF9, if you don't know, is a game that was being developed by Double Fine, an indie development studio. Um, they got about 400 grand to make a game called Space, ba Space Base DF9. They released an alpha, and in the first few weeks, they made all of their money back, all of their 400 grand, paid back all their people, and it looked great, and everyone was like, yeah, Space Base DF9. And after a while, people kind of stopped buying it, so they were like, oh. Yeah, we don't have any money to do all that stuff we said that we were going to do. And a lot of people being very angry about this, um... And yeah, you are, I guess, a right to be angry. They are releasing a full game. Um, just with some of the features that they said they were going to have. Cut out of it. I can smell burning. Alright, yeah, I could just smell burning. So there'll probably been some kind of blip there. Anyway, what was I saying? Space Base DF9. Yeah, basically they've run out of money. So they're releasing a full game, minus a few features they said they were going to have. So that kind of sucks. But that's a risk you take when you buy alpha games. Um, so yeah. Kinda of sucks, but it probably be fine. Call of Duty are getting sued by a war criminal. The ex, um, yeah, the ex dictator of Panama, um, was kind of depicted in one of the Call of Duty games as being a war criminal, and he kind of was, because he's just done a lot of murder type things, um, and he's in jail right now, I think, for war crimes. So that's good. Um, so yeah, I imagine he wants some money when he gets out, so he's suing him. So. Fuck, I guess. Um, in other news, iPhone 6 bends in your pocket. If you keep your iPhone 6 in your pocket for all the time, it'll bend. So that's good. I mean, that's true of a lot of phones. Um, this one in particular, I think. So, yeah, I mean, if you have a phone that's on all the time, because when do you turn off your phone? Never. Um, and it's got its processor running all the time and its battery and all that stuff, it's probably going to heat up. And if it's in your pocket and you're walking, it might bend. So be careful. When you're sitting down, just put it on your desk, everything will be fine. Um, and the new Nexus 5 might contest the iPhone. It looks really nice, or it might be Nexus 6. The new Nexus might contest the iPhone. The iPhone basically owns like 45% of the market share. Android uh, um, owns pretty much all the rest. Um, although Android's like a ton of phones. So iPhone is the most successful phone, iPhone is, uh, and Android is the most successful 
operating system. So it's like, yeah. And it's good because you want iPhones and Android and Windows phones fighting each other because then they're going to try to be better rather than just sitting there and doing nothing. Same with PS4 or Xbox One. You don't want to go, oh no, screw that, I don't want that, I just want this because it'll stay the same and it won't get better. Like rockets. No one built any good rockets. Everyone said, Russia, you're doing all the men to space. And they were like, cool, America's going to pay us loads of money. So, yeah, we're going to keep this rocket we built in the 60s. So, yeah. So we don't want the phone industry to become the space industry, is what I'm saying. Anyway, on to science-y type things. Maven has successfully orbited Mars. In my last video, I talked about the injection, and that went well. And now it's in orbit, and it's taken some scans of the... Um, upper atmosphere to see how it's been stripped away. We've had some images, they're very cool, very just a few pixely right now, but it's still very interesting and could tell us a lot about how uh, the atmosphere has evolved over time. Um, Dragon goes to the International Space Station. Dragon version 1, that, uh, that was another um, space part of news. A space part of news? Another bit of space news, that's what I meant to say. Um, yeah, so the new, uh, the um, I think it's CRS four. So the fourth Dragon mission has gone to the, uh, gone to the um, International Space Station and just delivered a bunch of supplies, and did what it usually does. So it's doing pretty well, and hopefully one day the Dragon version two will successfully get there, and take people to space. And talking of taking people to space, a new crew is aboard the ISS, or at least half of a new crew, because the Soyuz sends three at a time. The six. Six people on the space station, so yeah. There was a nice Soyuz launch out of Russia, and it just was fairly standard. It took about six hours to get to the International Space Station, and now there's new cr new crew there, so that's good. Um, and that rounds up everything. I kind of sped through it a little bit, because I spent quite a, lot of, a lot, quite a lot of time talking about Bojack the Horseman. I don't know, just Bojack Horseman. And um, smelling fire in my house. So, yeah, that's good. Anyway, so in terms of the channel, um, there's going to be some Metro Last Light Redux videos coming up. Um, Solar Civilization will be using some BD Armory, not as a core mechanic type thing, just as a bit of, oh look, let's go shoot some things, it'll be fun. And I think in terms of a civilization, there's going to be war, because that's how stuff works. That's how humans are made, and that's how kerbals are made. And I have some ideas for the uh, real solar system stuff, which I do every now and again. Maybe a moon mission, maybe some stuff with Mars, maybe Maven. Anyway, we'll see. I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been my weekly roundup. I will see you next time.